Okay, let's talk about college placement and specifically some uh, different type of math exams that uh, those of you out there that are going to college will have to take in order to determine your placement into a particular math course. I will say right off the bat, you always want to do the best you possibly can on these exams. Do not dismiss them. Take them very seriously because uh, if you don't do well uh, and you don't place into the right uh, math course for your potential, then you're going to be wasting time and money. And when you get to become an older guy like me, you'll see that time is even <laughs> more important than money. I mean, money is obviously pretty important, but you know, time is even just one of those things you can never get back. So I'm going to try to give you some basic tips here and uh, just kind of go over some uh, different type of tests that some of you out there that uh, might be facing. Okay. So uh, I'm going to get to all this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And let me tell you very briefly about my math health program. I'm going, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video, but basically I have a hundred plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you're still in school, okay, let's say you're still in high school and you're in pre-calculus, I can help you through that course. But uh, if you're going to be taking a test, and obviously you are, okay, so no, we're going to be talking about this specific test that um, you're likely going to be taking here, I can help you with those specific tests, okay, with the math section so you can place as high, high as you can. Now, you might be taking multiple tests as well. So you could be taking a college placement. You could also maybe be taking like the CLEP exam trying to get college credit. That's excellent as well. I have a full catalog of multiple different types of tests that can help you out. And uh, if you happen to be a homeschooler, I do have a very comprehensive homeschool math curriculum. And then I also have math notes that uh, you can use. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, let's get into this, okay? Uh, so what are some of the most common math placement tests out there, right? So for college-bound students. So let's, uh, you know, this is no particular order. So the first one I would say is the Alex math placement test. This is a very, very popular, very widely used. It's very, very good. Uh, Alex, the Alex module, the whole system is excellent. Okay, so, um, you know, I'm not going to fully explain the Alex, but you want to determine or try to determine from your college, hey, what what test are, you know, am I going to be using or taking uh, for my placement into my math class? Okay, don't be surprised if it's the Alex math placement test. Again, I have a um, uh, test prep, Alex math test prep course, all right? Right now, this course is 25 chapters. I've had many, many people successfully uh, use this course and place pretty well in into it, okay? So basically, with this uh, Alex, for the most part, you could take it a couple times, and I'm speaking in generalities here because uh, every college might be different in terms of their policies, whatnot. But uh, typically, students can take it a couple different times, and if you don't do well, you, there's opportunities to improve. But basically, you're, they're, the whole idea is to measure the skills you know you know and how well you know those particular skills. Okay, so again, these are diagnostics tests. Well, not, it could be diagnostic tests, but the whole idea behind these placement tests is to determine where, you know, where you should be placed, okay? If you haven't taken pre-calculus, you don't, you, you know, you shouldn't be placed into a calculus course, right? So that's the kind, uh, the kind of idea of uh, behind these tests. All right, so Alex is a very, very popular one. The next one is AccuPlacer, another hugely uh, uh, popular. I would say these two right here are probably the most popular uh, placement tests out there. Now, the AccuPlacer, um, has different levels, okay? And we're talking about um, back in uh, maybe seven, eight years ago. I could be wrong on that, but there used to be just an AccuPlacer, but now we're talking about the next generation Ac AccuPlacer. So if you uh, didn't know that, just a little um, heads up that there was an older version of the AccuPlacer. But basically the same thing. There is a uh, an arithmetic level, the uh, uh, AccuPlacer. There's another one called the QAS, and there's another one called the AAF, Advanced Algebra Functions. This is quantitative algebra and statistics, I believe is what it calls. Anyways, I have test prep courses for each one of these, okay? And again, you want to go to your to be talking to your college, talking to the placement folks, and try to identify which tests they're going to be having you take. Now, I don't know if they give that information out, but if you can get that information, 
uh, it definitely will be beneficial. So the AccuPlacer has three different, uh, there's specifically three different type of AccuPlacer exams where the Alex, I believe, is just one. You just kind of keep going, you know, as far as you can um, go. Now, I might be incorrect on Alex as well. There could be other ones. But in my course, I prepare you for the basic exams. I go through basic algebra all the way to, you know, into pretty heavy duty trigonometry, pretty advanced stuff. So again, it's been a very successful course. So when you um, use my course, you'll be preparing for various levels. Whereas the AccuPlacer, there's three different levels. Okay, let's get into some other tests that you may have already taken that will determine your placements. Uh, sometimes colleges use your SAT and ACT scores. Okay, so double check that. Hopefully, you know, the placement people should be already know that. So if you've taken the SAT and ACT, you've already done pretty well. Okay, make sure that your college has, uh, you know, you know, is considering that because you may not have to take any of these exams, all right? If you haven't taken these, then you're going to probably likely have to take these exams for sure, okay? So sometimes they'll take your SAT and ACT scores and use that and your high school, you know, uh, transcripts in terms of your last, uh, uh, you know, math course you've taken. So if you take a pre-calculus and you, you've done really, really, uh, really well on the SAT and and crossed over some threshold, some score threshold, sometimes that will be enough to place you into, let's say, for example, uh, uh, first semester calculus. Now, uh, depending on what state, okay, you're going into, there's specific um, uh, tests, placement tests for various different type of states. So, for example, I believe Florida has a particular type of uh, exam. Now, they might use, okay, it all depends on your college. They could be using your Alex or the AccuPlacer, but then there's also other type of exams as well, okay, that your college might be uh, using. So, don't, you know, hey, they're not using Alex, they're not using AccuPlacer, not my SAT, they're using something, let's say, for example, uh, the PERT exam, I believe, is one in Florida, but other states have them as well. So again, what you want to do is go ahead and try to determine, okay, one, well, you should know, first of all, what uh, course you want to get into, okay? And, and a good indicator there is what is your last math course in, in uh, high school, all right? So uh, for example, let's just do this real quick. If you uh, took your last um, uh, course in high school, was algebra two, you're not going to be going into calculus in college. You're probably going to end up like in some sort of like college algebra uh, course, which is a little bit, and I'm speaking in, in generalities here, which is going to cover a lot of the same materials algebra two, but maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now, if you were in pre-calculus in high school, well, you should be going into uh, calc one. Okay. Uh, if that's your kind of the game plan for your particular uh, major, right? You shouldn't be, definitely shouldn't be going into college algebra. If they put you in a college algebra course, that's not good. There's something wrong there. So pre-calculus, pretty sophisticated course. Now, another thing you could be going into is maybe like statistics, okay? All depends on your major and your uh, uh, requirements uh, for college. Now, one other thing I'm going to mention, it's not a part, I'm talking about college placement, is the CLEP exam, okay, which I also offer. Uh, so the CLEP exam, there's two different types, okay, there's two levels for math. There's the college algebra and the college math. So if you can pass the CLEP exam, it's kind of like the AP exam to some, somewhat. Basically, if you pass, you get the full college credit, okay, for like college algebra. So if they're placing you into college algebra, if they want to place you into it, but if you can already test out of it, get the, you know, take the t CLEP exam and get full credit, you need to be thinking in those terms as well. Um, and if you um, can pass the college math portion of it, you'll get uh, credit for the even more advanced math for your college. Again, every college is a little bit different. Now, if you happen to be one of those uh, students who've taken Calc AP you, uh, in high school or AP stats, well, then you obviously know how the AP system works. You're going to take uh, the test and see how you score. Hopefully, you'll get a five, and then you can get uh, college credit generally at most uh, uh, most universities and colleges. So the thing about it is this. You need to know what your goal is here, okay? You need to know what your goal is, and you need to know, you know, obviously, your SAT and ACT scores if you took the test. But 
more importantly, you got to go um, talk to your college, try to get as much information as possible, as early as possible, and start preparing for these multiple different, you know, type of things. If you were pretty good in Algebra 2, okay, I would say definitely try to clap out of um, college algebra if you think that you're not going to be a technical major, for example, okay? So you got to be planning your placement into college. Just don't let the university do it. But uh, nevertheless, I can help you with uh, these placement exams. I have a huge amount. There's a lot of different ones. These are the most common ones that I talked about, but uh, there's there's a lot of different tests out there. If you just go to my website and go into the test prep section and the college section, you can kind of browse through my um, course catalog and see if your test that you have to take is there, it likely is. And if it isn't, uh, use the contact form on our website and we'll help you out the best uh, we can. But um, bottom line is this, take this test seriously. Just because you've done well in high school and you got like A's and B pluses in your math courses, don't assume that you're just going to show up and just take these exams. You're going to have to go back and review a lot of things uh, as well. Very, very important that you do well on these college placement exams. All right, so hopefully this little video, help, video helped you out. And if that is the case, go ahead and smash that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you consider subscribing. Um, I have a ton of math videos on my channel, or like over a thousand, basic to advanced math. So it's a good starting point if you like my teaching style. Of course, you know, I'm not really teaching here, but you could check out my um, uh, free content. I'm making new math videos all the time, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. And as far as my test prep courses go, they're very, very specifically built you know, designed for that particular test. Okay, so we'll really cut down uh, in terms of you trying to figure out, you know, what you need to study for. Um, you know, I've done a lot of research on these exams, and um, a lot of people have used my uh, test uh, prep courses successfully over the years. So hopefully you may be one of them as well. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your college placement and all of your um, math adventures. Thank you for your time. And have a great day.